Eric Red Schaefer. I'm a jiu-jitsu coach here at uh, Duke Rufus Academy in Milwaukee. Um, Matt just came in for this first camp. I've met him, so he's been in here but maybe like a month and a half, two months now. Okay. And uh, awesome guy. The cool part about Matt, he's every single day he's hitting jujitsu classes. He's even hitting some gi classes. He's a real uh, student of the game. Um, you know, you kind of got that image from the reality show, like he's a meathead, but he's actually one of the smartest guys uh, I've met. He knows his sports science. He knows. Um, it's really, uh, you show him a move in jiu-jitsu, that night he's working it against high-level guys. So it's really uh, cool to see that level in a, in a heavyweight especially. Good. When he got here, I mean, he's already a solid grappler. But, like I said, he's putting in the time every single day. We're working on, um, if you ever meet the guy, his arms are long as heck. He's like a monkey, you know. I'm a normal, he's, you know, his arms are about four inches longer than mine. So we're working some, some chokes. He's really good with the head and arm stuff, which is one of my specialties too. Yeah. But uh, especially at heavyweight, when these guys get big, he can fit guys in these chokes. So he's made, so he's like really uh, working on some new chokes. I don't want to ruin anything, but um, his, his submissions are great, his, especially his chokes, so watch out. In case it goes to the ground, Kimbo's gonna, I, 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 I'd see a choke out, no problem. Good. Um, do I miss football? Would I ever go back? Uh, I, I really enjoy playing football. Um, I don't care about watching it. I do watch college football though. Um, but NFL, I saw the business side of it, so I don't really care about it that much anymore. Um, would I ever go back to it? No, no, man. I'm happy doing what I do. You know, I, I really enjoy, uh, you know, having eaten. Um, you know, I, I enjoy the, the scientific part of, you know, designing formulations and what goes best with athletes. Um, so I'm happy with that portion of my life. Um, I like my family not being in the stress that it was when I was in the NFL. Um, you know, now that I have two kids and one on the way, uh, you know, you get cut in the NFL, you have no more paychecks. You know, if you get cut in the UFC. There's ten other, you know, organizations you can fight in, and, and, you know, and do well if, if that's your if that's your living of choice. Um, and honestly, I, I got I got called back in 2008, and I just wasn't good enough anymore. So I'm old, man. If I were younger, maybe, but I'm old now. The boiler up, huh? Let me um, let me think about it. <laughs> Let's. Uh, who asked that question? Uh, Bill Pitcock. Bill. I think it's a good idea for you to email me your suggestion of what it could be. Maybe we can come up with uh, some new form of the camel clutch, and maybe we can call that the boiler up because I'm pulling their chin up anyways. Okay.